begin this hour at 5 o'clock with a growing call for action on gun reform. And local lawmakers asking that gun manufacturers take responsibility for gun violence. And our Misha DeBono starts us off along the Embarcadero with the legal actions being taken and what it means moving forward. Misha. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, County uh, Chairman Nathan Fletcher with the County Board of Supervisors, as well as, well as Tara Lawson Remmer, they're drafting a proposal which they will put before the full board tomorrow. And what it basically does is it will allow gun manufacturers and distributors to be sued for the role that they play within gun violence. Today they spoke very eloquently, but the, uh, the most powerful speakers were young people. What disturbs me most for me and my peers is this. Money and profit in the gun industry gets prioritized by lawmakers over protecting children's lives. Lucy Young is a junior at Canyon Crest Academy. She and 16-year-old Talia Fish joined San Diego County Board of Supervisors Nathan Fletcher and Tara Lawson Rimmer as they announced plans to introduce a proposal that would allow gun manufacturers to be sued for their role in gun violence. Living in fear of someone coming into your class and gunning down you and your classmates is not something we want our kids to live in fear of. If passed, the proposal authorizes the county's regional public attorneys to initiate, pursue, and join proactive legal actions against firearms manufacturers and distributors. As a parent, I am here to say that I refuse. I refuse to live in a country where I have to explain to my young daughter that she is not safe in school. I refuse to accept as normal that she'll have to learn to hide or run or play dead because of a school shooter. They'll present to the board on Tuesday and take it to a vote, but it was the powerful words of kids, too young to vote, that hits home the hardest. They shared feelings of widespread anxiety, fear, and loss of innocence. Spending years of our lives preparing for the worst has left young people like me anxious and trained to expect tragedy. Since my voice does not count at the ballot box, I am urging you instead to hear it now. I must beg that you consider the way that I feel, the way that my peers feel, and the fact that we are asking you to please keep us safe, to please keep the guns out of our school, to please hold the right people accountable, and to please protect us, because we have no way of protecting ourselves. Do your job. And so they will present to the full board tomorrow and vote. And if it is passed, they'll join other major cities across the country, including Los Angeles. From along the Embarcadero, Misha DeBono, Fox 5 News. All right, Misha.